and the defending champions, but let's find out what Aaron Chow and So Woo Yik have to say about that. Lots and lots of fans now in the Singapore Indoor Stadium. And the players ready to come out on court. Well, this has all the makings of a great match. And in fact, it could even be the kind of match that would serve as any final at any stage. BWF World Tour. Fikri and Maulana. First meeting between them, which is actually quite surprising. Get to the coin toss now. Current chance, so we're still trying to find their feet really this year after winning the World Championships last year. They haven't won a title since then. But they did come close on a couple of occasions. Current chance, 26 years old now, born down south in Malaysia. Ranked four now, that was as of this week because of their lack of titles really the highest ranking has been as high as two had a great run at the end of last year they were quarter finalists at malaysia masters last week of course as we look at so yik also quarter finalists at the indonesian masters second at the india open so this would be their fourth quarter final so yik born right in the capital city of kl uh, so much pressure heaped on them and the press and the media after that. That was a very good opening start to their campaign. Heiji Ting and Zhao Dong in straight games of 37 minutes might just be the spark that they need. But looking at Ahmed Shobal Fikri, 23 years old, born in Bandung, only ranked 13th and has been as high as 11. And that was just at the beginning of this year as well. partner, Bagas Maulana. Silver medalist at the Thomas Cup, I can tell you that, born in Chile, Chap, Indonesia, 24 years old. Well, they've had a number of great results so far. They were second at the tie open last week, runners up. Looking at their tournament results, that's Lee and Wang in 35 minutes, 21-18, 21-19. Great start to this tournament, but last week they were runner up in Thai, Thailand, runners up at the Orléans Masters, quarter finalists at the Swiss Open, Indonesia Masters, umpire Chan Hui Yen from Singapore. Have to continue that roster of success after this. Service judge Zhang Shi Ying. Well, so quarter finalists at the Swiss Open, the Indonesia Masters, the All England, second at the Thai Masters. So this actually would be their seventh quarterfinal this year. And there are very few pairs and players that have reached that number at this stage, just six months into the year. Ansa Young, of course, on seven finals. Bay Kana and Lee So He also on seven finals. But it's a, it's a tough ask with so many events in the HSBC BWF World Tour. Got to stay fit for them. And of course, Paris 24, 24 qualification year as well. This is the third event that is going to give these Olympic qualification points. And of course, to, a, to a countries like Malaysia and Indonesia that have a number of men's doubles entrants and pairs, and it's ever so important to make sure that's right. About ready to get underway here now.
So here we go. On the attack, Malaysia. Aaron Shaw finds that line down the middle. So it's over. Got the lift early, so Yik. Right there, started plugging away at it. Final. That's quite an achievement. If they can make it, of course. It's good from Seoul. You get back. Confident play. That's a good, nice little drop into front court. It's been left well. well good start from both pairs. Nice into the corner. Oh, so Yik so far has been the standout player. So over. Five, four. Clash of rackets. Usually the over. Five, ominous all. precursor to losing the point. Not all the time, but it does indicate Serious lack of communication going on. That's gone wide as well. So, Vickery and Maulana power ahead. Six, five. This match, by the way, has every chance of going to three. Both pairs being Six over. Six, proficient four. enough at defending and attacking. But in the same way, it also has every chance of so going one way. Seven, six. So far, both pairs just easing themselves into it. No one's really in full octane fifth gear mode. Still making a few errors here and there as well. So it's over. Seven. from Fikri, I think it was. It's over. Eight, seven. What? 
Yes, it was. an update on their possible quarterfinal opponents for both these pairs. The Thai Open champions. Yang and Wang are now one game up against Man and T. And well into their second game. Vickery again does that mid-court job so well. Look at that Nine. shot. Oh. I didn't even see the way he took it. That wasn't a push, that was almost a reverse. points as both pairs gift each other points. So it's over. Then all. Absolutely nothing between them. Give or take errors, winners, defensive lapses. They're approaching a mid-game interval. Locked. Same, that was great from So Yik, but unfortunately, Fikri was there. Good combination from the Indonesians, and they go in. 11-10 up. on the attack for Chan so wasted no time there all. make sure they were back on evil equal terms I should say <laughs> it's nice from Aaron Chow Oh, that was wonderful from Bagas Malana. So it's over. Look at this 12, shot. 11. Oh, that was a great angle for it. So 12-11, and still nothing to differentiate these two pairs. Except, of course, for those two wonderful shots from the Indonesians into the right side. Oh, there's another one. Great move by Fikri. So for the first time, they're beginning to mine out a lead.
over. 12-13. Oh, 12-13. So important for Chan So to come up with decent result. Hopefully even take their title here. That would be really beneficial to them. As they're steadily dropping down the rankings. by the Indonesians. Just clipped the net. Oh, that was such an important point for Chan So. 14, 13. Still anybody's first game, you feel? Way too high. Not the lift that he wanted so almost immediately. 14 old. And that was from a very ambitious clear at the net from Aaron Chow. 14 all. So far, so good. It's great from Sewell Yik. He seems very much on the attack now. Again, Sewell Yik with a great recovery. Oh, and he gets the winner as well. He's on fire. Weathered the attack from the Indonesians and then turned the tables on them. 27 shots that rally. Good to see Australia's getting a little bit more developed, but they have actually so far both pairs played out. Pretty good match or pretty good game, I should say. that time service over 15 16 well, all four players adding a little bit to the skill level here I, th I still think so Yik is elevating to be the top player right now and there he is again forcing the issue oh. and everyone else has come up with some great great shots 16. It's too long for Marin Chow. So. Body shot, always a good point. Killed all the speed on that. All. They're not giving up this first game easily. And that tumble just destroyed 
the speed on that shot. Again, so yik. Service over. He's consistently just 18, edged the head. 17. Well-placed shot from Aaron Sharp, right 19, on the hip. 17. You can see below the hip, actually. So a good shot here for them to just steal, and that is the oh. operative word. Unsighted. Oh, 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 well, I was just about to say that they were going to take that, but... All sorts of investigations going on into this serve, I can tell you. Figri smiling. Wow. Doesn't get closer than this. <laughs> That's in. Down. That was quite a challenge. Three game points for Aaron Chan, so we. Fake out there from Fikri, I think it was, or Maulana. Oh, just over. Great stuff from Fikri Maulana. Great combination. Service so over. Well, I think the way the points have been falling, that it might still be a bit of an ask for Fikri and Malan to rescue this first game after that, well, not controversial, but very significant Hawkeye challenge just now. But you never know. Still close enough. See the fans enjoying this, and I can tell you the Singapore Indoor, indoor yeah, Stadium has been steadily filling up. Still a lot more badminton to be played today. It's only round of 16. On that note, congratulations to Yao Ji Min and Lo Ken Yu. They booked their second round matches in some style. Lo Ji Min actually beating Yang Ji Chang Yi Man. So, first game does fall to Chan So. First game won by Ellen Chia and So Wei Yi. 21 18. 21 18. And we'll be happy with that.
So back on court. And so far, as I said, the press always chasing Aaron Chan. So we, since that World Championship win, really dissecting everything that they do. And I have to say, so far from what we've seen, they are looking like they have been in the R&D area and tinkering around with how they approach things. This has been pretty good from them against a pretty good pair. So it's over. One, all. some measured response from Fikri and Maulana. Oh, great vision from Aaron Chow. Caught them sitting flat. Saw that spot. He's so good at doing that, Aaron Chow. And that is what it looks like when a doubles pair is too flat at the back. confidence for having that first game in the bag and these opening points from them seem to be a lot more solid ahead tumble helped nice from Fikri Oh, nice again. Fickery popping up Five. all over the net right oh. now. Industrious work. Zach goes wide. Seven, five. Seventh quarterfinal in the 13th or well, the 12th event of the HSBC PWF World Tour. Just to clarify that, by the way. Uh, at this Eight, point of the five. year, it is very easy to say it is the 13th. 
But uh, the Sudirman Cup Finals is actually a standalone event, even though it is on the tour. Doesn't offer any prize money, of course. It's all about national pride. And that's why this is the 12th event. Though some would say 13. Six, eight. Hope that's cleared that up for you. Meanwhile, back on court, it's two-point lead for the Indonesians. But as I was saying, seven quarterfinals of 12 events. That seven, is impressive. Eight. And the same applies to Ansa Young for seven finals <laughs> of 12 events. And Bekana and Liso here as well. In the women's doubles, that's a great piece of play from Fikri. Great court coverage. So it's over. Nine, it's almost seven. like a rescue package just came right to where he needed to be. Got his racket in the way of Aaron Chia possibly scoring on that right side. Oh, he couldn't, couldn't make that so work for him this time. Eight, nine. Alana this time. And the body shot. So it's over. Ten. Eight. Well, this will be a real baptism of fire if Chan So can come back from this position and take this in straight games. That's good attack from that, good rotation as well. from Fikri from the body shot. 11, 8, interval. And they are ahead at the second mid-game interval. 11, 8. Oh, while wow, this is happening, I can tell you, another Indonesian has bowed out of the Singapore Open, Gregoria. Mariska Tunjung has just lost to Tai Tzu Ying. Got two twenty seconds. Got two twenty seconds. Lanjat, Lanjat. Sure, a little court maintenance duty there. Back on court now for what is going to be Eleven, eight, a very eight. important second phase in this second game. I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> that certainly wasn't planned by Fikrid Merlana. It wasn't some intricate deception or fake. That looked that was a miss. And it was a desperation clear by Fikri. And that's everything that Aaron Char and Soyik wanted. They want to do this in straight games. You can just feel it. to overcome this two-point deficit. Oh, oh nice from Maulana. 13, 10. 
saw the angle well here, pushed it into the corner. was an important interception there by Maulana and a couple of good shots after that and they are now four points ahead. I did say this matchup, even though this is the first meeting between the pairs, and so it puts down another statement of intent. So it's over. Even though it's the first meeting 11, between these pairs, 14. it's got all the ingredients of a three game match. I wonder if Fikri and Marlana are going to set that in motion. So Yik again has other plans. Two good points from him. 12, 14. It's great pressure from So Yik. And he's clawed up three of the four points that they were behind. He's giving them a fighting chance here to seal this in two. Well, they're challenging that, but looked out. Looked out from up here, looked out on the screens. But the harbingers of truth, Hawkeye, are now going to make this determination for all of us. It's out. Looked out. Challenge unsuccessful. And now is One officially challenge out. challenge remaining. Wow, that really would have helped them. Difference between 15-13 and 14 all. So it's over. 15. 13, 50, play. <laughs> Great work again by So Yik. Enough pressure at the net. Crouches down over. well for a tall guy. 14. Just did enough to upset that rhythm. But still one point behind. while they're firing now. Fifteen all. This is the time they needed to make their stand and to start their charge at 15. They just couldn't allow Vickery and Mal Malala to be further ahead at this point. This could be the start of something big. 30 shot rally. They spent most of that defending. That's wonderful from Jian So. And you know what? The match we saw before this. Lane Vendi versus Arjun Kapila. That also went down to a pretty spectacular grandstand finish. And now we're seeing Chan So, the world champions, come back from behind, four points behind. And they've just taken the lead. It's on serve. And five points away from adding another quarterfinal appearance to their 2023 resume. Was going to be long. Service over. 16 all. 16 all. Victory and Marlon has wasted no time in getting on the attack there.
17-16. Crucial couple of points for Fikri Malana. It's good again from Sawiyek. He has been unchallenged at the net, Sawiyek. It's been a breath of fresh air. Again, Wu Yik at the net. Just hasn't moved out of midcourt. It's proved the difference. 18, 17. They were four points behind. And he pulled them up and now holding court there. He's pushed them ahead. Running out of points in the second game. Again into the corner. This 19, 17. be a good result for them. Decent pair. Fikri and Marlana looking for their seventh quarterfinal. Remember, they've been in good form all year. Chan So looking for their fourth. But in that time, I don't think I've seen So Yik play like this at the Nets. That's three match points. Match point, 17. And I will even go as far as to say that they've come from his racket. It would only be right if he finished it off now. And they've done it. 21-18. Thirty-seven minutes. Fourth quarter final for Aaron Chan So Yik, but a more solid performance from them, and that's really the point. They've really had to weather the storm in terms of media press coverage. But this was a good showing against a good pair. And their charge here at the Singapore Open 2023 continues. Great play from So Yik. Throughout that match. And there's confirmation of it 21 18, 21 17 in 38 minutes. Cha and so progress.
A very good afternoon to you from the Singapore Indoor Stadium. It's the HSBC BWF World Tour Singapore Badminton Open. And we've had four straight games wins here on court two today. It's the round of 16. Next up, it's men's singles. A 